The president speaking at an event outside of Dayton a short while ago before moving on to Toledo this evening. That's where we find News 5's John Kosick. John, we understand that there are critical areas that the president, uh, those air areas are actually very critical to the president's reelection plans. Refuse to just let me no question go back about it. Montgomery work. County, home to Dayton, the only county outside of northern Ohio that voted twice for Barack Obama and when we that talk switched about to Donald Trump. He wants to keep it that way, but he also wants to fire off his base like a neighboring Preble County next door. We mean where he socialism won for me by and socialism for you. The same thing can be said here outside of Toledo. Swanton is a town that literally straddles Lucas County, which President Trump lost by 17 points to Hillary Clinton, and Fulton County, which he won by 36. The president kicked off his 2020 campaign not far from here with a rally in Toledo in January. This airport hangar rally is billed as a great American comeback event where the president is expected to highlight the economic accomplishments of Ohio pre-pandemic. Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur, who represents this area, taking issue with something the president said on that January visit. 2019 had been the best year economically in the history of the state. Actually, it was the worst year in a decade for job creation. And he said to the workers that in Lorain, Ohio, which I also represent, that the steel plants were reopening. Guess what? They're shuttered. The president's chief trade advisor, Peter Navarro, though, telling me if that's the case, the president will highlight the blame is not with him, but the Democratic trade policies of the early 90s. There's going to be a very clear contrast drawn between Joe Biden, who supported the two worst trade deals in American history, NAFTA and China's entry into the World Trade Organization, did tremendous damage to the state of Ohio versus President Trump. Country for every and you're looking live at the pre rally festivities going on under here. So, who are you trust? Swanton, just outside of Toledo, to rebuild Good the economy as, as we come out of the pandemic. Crowd. Do you trust for someone who you know crowd. keeps his Masks promises? Masks were required to come into this rally. But someone who built the strongest not economy in any of our lifetimes. Don't have them on. I do. See very little I trust Donald Trump and I trust Reporting my friends to do that again. News 5.